The airline industry is a service industry. We're taking care of customers. Most airlines are commodities. They get you from point A to point B in roughly the same equipment. So I think people look for fast turnaround times, getting people on and off of planes, and they can sometimes forget the customer. And so how do you differentiate a product? There is this sense that in this most deregulated, also regulated interest industry that there'll be government intervention that will create a customer bill of rights. So the customer bill of rights started about 10 years ago. JetBlue was the originator. So it include things like rebooking, compensation for being disrupted. So all the things that can happen to you on an airline, there would be a sense that you are privileged as a customer to have a certain set of rights. In terms of social media, why the airline industry might not embrace it is because a lot of the bad news that they've gotten has been celebrated on social media. So it's awkward. You know, they've never been covered in that way before. Everybody has a cell phone now. Everybody can videotape something that goes on. But it is the reality of the world, so you have to learn to deal with it. You have to get your own story out if it's different from the one that's circulating. In the most businesses, you think about brand as a way to get people to continue to stay with you. A brand is a habit, and if you don't have to think about it, then your brand is really strong. In the airline industry, people buy loyalty by point system. These loyalty programs are very powerful. I think in some ways it's made us lazy, because we don't have to delight customers all the time, because we have such a, a monetary incentive to keep them. The Spirit Airlines and some of the smaller ones that are low-cost airlines are doing quite well. There's a market segment that's very interested in that, and they have not much space between seats. I read in Europe one time they had uh, they were charging for bathrooms. So I mean everything is uh, is broken down that way. I don't think we'll go quite that far here, but I think there is that low end of the market that people will buy just based on cost. It's a little bit like automobiles, you know. Will there be a place for an entry auto? Of course. Will there remain a place for a Mercedes-Benz? Of course. The market is segmented in air travel as well.